Hello everyone, my name is Rasesh Pandani. At the end of uh, the second playing day of the World Test Championship Final, no one side is ahead of the other. This is how close this uh, Test Championship Final has been. If you thought India had a bit of an advantage at the end of day one, well, some would think New Zealand is slightly ahead, but that's ever so slightly. India, first of all, packing off for 217, and in reply, New Zealand are 101 for 200, still 116 runs shy of India's first innings total. If you haven't quite been watching Test Cricket regularly, then you would be mistaken to think this has been quite boring Test Cricket, but it has been anything but that. It has been a fascinating battle between bat and ball, where batting has been difficult, there have been bowling friendly conditions, the bowlers have not been willing to give an inch, and batting has been so much tougher, but the batsmen have been willing to show discipline to post a gradually big total. First of all, the first thing that happened at uh, the start of uh, day two for India was India losing the big fish Virat Kohli. For the first time in his test career, Virat Kohli losing his wicket to his overnight test total. Who got him out? Well, his RCB teammate Kyle Jamieson. The big tall Jamieson had bowled a cluster of deliveries in that spell and in during the course of that innings to Kohli that were outside the off stump which Kohli was willing to leave. But this one came in. This was the only one that was directed at the stumps and Kohli missed it. It was an in-swinging delivery. Kohli missed it. It was a LBW appeal. Kohli went for the DRS review, but the ball was hitting the stumps. Virats was not the only wicket that uh, Jamieson got in his uh, five-wicket haul. He got uh, subsequently the potentially dangerous Rishabh Pant as well. Pant unfortunately not being able to summon the sort of disciplined reserves that were needed to do well in these conditions. And of course, he had earlier got Rohit Sharma out as well. So India being bowled out for 217, uh, one team dismissal of Ajinkya Rahane who was uh, promising to play a very good innings. He was the top scorer, got out on 49, but uh, got out to that leg side uh, short ball trap of Neil Wagner again. Wagner not taking much time to force him to play a very poor uh, half-hearted pull which uh, where he hold out to square leg. This is a area of his game that he would want to address. In reply, New Zealand came in discipline personified. On expected lines, Tom Latham and Devon Convoy sort of playing very close to the body, making the Indian bowlers work hard. And India did not bowl badly. In fact, with the new ball in those first 10 overs, India bowled a lot fuller length as in, in, in uh, comparison to the New Zealand fast bowlers. But Convoy and Latham were just willing to buckle down. Eventually, they, their wickets did fall. Latham getting out first to a well-flighted delivery of uh, Ashwin, which was a setup dismissal. And very late in the day, with the uh, light fading, uh, Convoy getting out to a poor flick shot of Ishan Sharma. So, New Zealand 101 for two. Uh, but again, just like at the end of day one, at the end of day two, on the third playing day, if there is a good morning session that the Indian fast bowlers have, then perhaps it could again be advantage India and India can rest the advantage away. So this is how this uh, match has pretty much been India bowling well and India had scored at 2.25 runs per over. New Zealand in reply getting runs at 2.06 runs per over. So that is how tough batting has been. If there can be one criticism of the Indian bowling perhaps is they did not get as much movement in the air as New Zealand did, not as much swing movement. But again, that comes from the fact that India does not have any predominantly swing bowlers in their squad, in their playing 11 at the moment. So India would be looking to come up fresh. That late wicket of Conway would have sort of energized them and they would be expecting to fight back. But that one worrying sign is that the weather forecast is not very good. Rain is expected to play some part. And so this is going to be a cat and mouse game between the batsmen, bowlers and the weather conditions.